It's faster to use a terminal than a GUI, and it's faster to use iTerm than a terminal. Here's why. A couple of quick ways of opening up iTerm. I've got option space set as a hotkey. So I did that by going to preferences and in keys making a system wide hotkey. That's not always the best way of doing it because it comes up with this translucent window. I sometimes prefer right clicking on a folder, go to services, new iTerm window here, and it brings up a window, of course, on my other monitor, and I can perform normal terminal functions from there. You can copy and paste from the iTerm window itself. You can double click on console and then control C, control V, and it pastes it in. You can follow any link within the console by selecting the link, pressing command on the keyboard and clicking with the mouse. That's become a link there. You can achieve a split window by just pressing command D on the keyboard. Option command B gives you this instant replay control and you can go back in time including the window size and it gives you all the commands that you've typed in previously. Shift command B gives you a paste history and you can reuse these as and when you want. As you might expect, command F gives you a search. But not only that, here you can use some lovely regex searches. I love autocomplete and I happen to know there's a folder called others here. So if I type in CDO and then use command colon, then it can auto-complete for me. Fantastic. So I use iTerm2. I think you should too. That's about it.